Sly Stealth, Hello Blanco Peso, Michael Boulder. Good to see y'all up in here, coming on in. Coming on into the stream. Coming on into the stream. Let me get to the Twitch over here so I can read some comments. Uh, oh Lord, I'm updating. It's got to update. Now, 
so I'm backing up. I should be having beats in, uh, to the back before you get here. Appreciate it. All right, no problem. Yeah, yeah, now we'll keep going. All right, here we go. Put it in reverse. So I get this thing some momentum going, and then all I gotta do is break off of it, get out the way, and it will beach itself. Then I gotta come back and get this red barge and do the same thing. steady going to the bank right now. It's drifting that way and then I can get in behind it. There's plenty of soft mud over there so I ain't gonna hurt nothing. I ain't gonna hurt anything.
slide out the way for this boat to pass, then we'll go put it at E-square. Yeah, I forgot we'll put all that slack in there. All right there, Dolly Brook. I, I made up to it. I'm going to flatten out and let you get on by. You going inbound or outbound? Where are you going? I tell you what, I just thought about that while I was speaking. Let me get it off. I'm going back in there to uh, E-square, so I'll get it off the bank and get ahead of you. Hey, go ahead. I, I put the left behind you. I'll be pretty much pushing it to the way so they hurt. Hell, we're gonna let this dude, we're gonna let us go. You get your staff done to leave the way up while you're up there, too.
some chat. I might be able to look at some chat here for a minute. I don't know how much chat I can read, but I'm going to do my best. Let's see, let's see the chat. Uh, Lucy. Lucy Star. Oh, wait. Hello. Let me go back and see what I missed. We got the Herbert emote. We got the Dancing Peanut. Trying to get those. Move the mice away. Bill Cox in here, a skyline. Ken is 40, Mickey Mad, Vixen's Naughty, Blanco, Lucy Star. Then he did this, yeah. Uh, and there we go. I think I'm caught up. I think I may be drunk. Well, ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, we gotta pass right by our office right here to go to, to the fleet I'm bringing it to. Let's make sure there's nobody back there tooling around in my business where I need to go. Uh, nah, it looks okay, I guess. Yep, I think we got the biggest barge in the world right here. At least that's what it looks like to me. It's the biggest barge in the world. You got a short tank and four.
these three empties? Well, we're going to turn it in there and they got a, a place to tie up there with some other green ones. I think he said he's got a 30 something, two 30 something bars, just 305 or something. We're going to slide it next to that and tie up. Alright, sorry I can't really read the chat. Did y'all owe them a favor? Hell no. That boat right there has actually been tied up for a while. They had some smaller boats, then they built some bigger ones, and they tied the smaller ones up. But things have gotten so busy lately, they put that one back in service, it looks like. Yeah, right, right. That's fine. Just take it over nice and slow, man. We got it going.
matched up just perfect with the other one so it's good it's all good now we're gonna get the other one now let's go get the other one and tie it up next to this one that one's gonna be a little harder because I don't have as much room to work with That one will be a little different, I think. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I might have to start making my turn like re way early. Way, way early.
C-mix and C-mix. You got it spelled wrong. Do 
going to shut up. We're going to another goddamn channel. I can't stand it. Probably put 
pull it out and lay it on the bank and hold it there to let him pass, that's what I can do. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. Nah, you know what? I'm just gonna let him come out. I ain't gonna. I ain't, I'm gonna give him all the room he needs. I'll just hold it against the bank until he passes. He ain't gonna be 20 minutes. time to catch up this log from this job. My depart from the office and all that pick up, depart, uh, depart, secure, and all that good stuff. I can catch that. I can catch that one up for this job while we're waiting for him to get by. And that'll be just fine. Yeah, the barges I just passed here, that was 25 from back there to right here is just 25 barges. And this is Boone's fleet right here. I'm gonna count from this orange barge to the barge I have to pick up is on the other side of these. I'm gonna count how many barges is in here. Just in this little fleet right here. You wanna do the same thing, Rob? Pull it out a little bit with a headline first. Yeah, the only thing, we're going to have to wait a minute for that E-square boat, uh, boat to come out that's behind us. So I'm going to put a headline and just hold it there for a bit. I'll let you know whenever we're going to, when he passes. All right. Okay, from this orange barge to where that boat is over there with the yellow lights, I'm going to count it in this little cluster. There's one, two... Three, four, five, six.
get out of the refrigerator again up here. Let me make sure everything's good. I think I picked up everything. take off first in front of him so I'm just repaying the favor. to about 
two and a half miles an hour, and I can break off of it.
Oh shoot, I'm gonna get some cable. I'm gonna I'll tell you what, when he goes up there, I'm gonna ask him what the cargo was in it. They bring them barges. Cargo was in there. Cargo out of it. Cargo out of it. Cargo out of it. So they can put maybe a new cargo in. Probably benzene or something, or I guess when you walk up there, you can see the blackbird. I was just curious. Yeah, you could have checked when you go up there to tie up. I, that was just, uh, I was just wondering. Looks like we are clear to go. Part at. We'll see. We'll see what I put the part at. Hello, I am back, baby. That's a nice looking part. Uh, Captain. Uh, Frederick. Frederick's dad, Gubin. Hi, Captain. Looks like you have a nice crew aboard. You made sure the ropes are properly on deck. What's it carrying? Liquid. He's gonna tell me right now. Let's see what he says. Oh, he can look at the past paperwork and see what it was carrying. It was raffinate. Raffinate? You say with an F or S?
my seat last night watching that game, the end of that game. I bet you were too. Okay, we have, what's the kid? Yeah, he said raffinate, some kind of a gas, liquid. Hello, Rob, how's, how's that barge pick his life? It is a big one. It's a 300 footer. I had to move two of them. I already moved one. This is the second one. And that's it. We're done. We'll finish after this. A little quick, a little quick banger. Knock out a couple little bangers. Definition of raffinate, the liquid product resulting from the extraction of a liquid with a solvent, also the less soluble residue that remains after extraction. Uh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Orion Ananuka. Ananuki. And uh, Orion Anunnaki. Hey, Dave. Where's Dave at, man? Come on, Dave. Yeah,
see what it looks like is going to happen and compensate for it. Like right now, I need to start coming back this way. Because if you react too late, then it's too late. said 
too bad Nico's ain't in here because this is his torpedo tube. Okay. That was the weirdest thing ever. We had a barge, but they had a pipe that they wanted to stick out in front of it.
deck hands are like, you falling out, you falling out, you falling away. They just gotta give it time. Give me time. I'm, I'm coming. Just give me time, bro. All right, coming in about eight wide. Same like driving a car.
too heavy. No job number on this. Logs are so important. Go form, form a bruisey. So important. That's how we get paid. I gotta do a, a, a soft log that I write my logs in manually, and then I gotta do the billing log on the computer and send it in. finish that uh, uh, just hold up a minute we're gonna have another bar to do a little tin to go bring somewhere but I need to catch up my logs so uh, take a break I'll call you when I get them caught up barges today and you know what I found out we may be they may be putting this boat and us on that one month job for Buffalo Marine pushing these barges every day for a month remember what I said I didn't want to do <laughs> guess what jokes on me they were supposed to put the cap Leroy on that job that ain't gonna happen, I don't think. And it, it's still, it's still up in the air, but I think it's gonna happen that we're gonna get it. But as long as I'm working with James and Benoit, I'm good. I, I, I can do it. It depends oh, on who you work you. with. That makes a, makes a big difference of who they put you with. When you like who you're working with and you get along and they can handle a boat and you ain't got to worry about it, that makes a big difference. I'll see you do more on my barge and then I need to milk my goats. 
I log everything that happens in the farm as well. My computers do the hard log, but I write everything. Yep. And you know, when you're good to, you're too good at. I think that's what it is. Tell they need to upgrade them engines then. <laughs> so this is the boat that the ships that cross the channel. So is this a boat like the ships that cross the channel and that use like uh, 10,000 for an hour? No, not this, not this one. These here, what we like, what we get paid per hour. Sometimes they have a minimum. They'll have a minimum hourly rate or a minimum hours that they do. Or sometimes they'll do a daily rate. Uh, they'll give a company a, a discount because it's a daily rate because they know they're going to have them for 24 hours. So they'll knock some off of it. Uh, 16, 20 apart. So, uh, yeah, I think normally on an hourly job, we get like 350 an hour with this boat, I think. Or something like that. But it used to be that. It might have changed. Depart. Here we go. Let me copy and paste. This will be a lot easier. Copy. Paste. Hell yeah. This harbor, 
opens up into when I when you get out this like out of this river, you get into the Houston Ship Channel. You go out past the Fred Hartman Bridge and uh, a little ways, you get to Galveston Bay. Once you go down Galveston Bay, about 25 miles, you get to Galveston. You can go left or right in the intercoastal, or you can keep going out through the jetties and you get out into the Gulf of Mexico. So it all empties out to the Gulf from here. Save it. Save. All right. So
Yeah. Oh yeah, we put we put lines and we wired both sides. All right, we're about to head over to your barge. If you want to start heading that way in a minute, well, let me finish this up. It won't take me long. We did them pretty quick, actually. Arrive case off, pick up. I can actually do this later, to tell you the truth. <coughs> 1730 depart. We're going to just put 1730 depart. I'll fill this in tonight. Yeah, uh, where's, where, who, where's the order at? Oh, right here. we got to get the uh, e, E2MS 106 from E Square and uh, the same shady source, source slip, whatever, and bring it to ITC Deer Park. Dock number eight. Uh, header out. Which, that sucks because those barges have the headers on the front. My short tank won't be set up to perform the transfer. So yeah, we'll put the part now. Let me tell them to get off of, we can get off. All right, Dave, we're ready to go. I'll fill this out tonight. We just start right here from the part. What's all this? That's the, I gotta, I'm gonna fill those in with the job. With the oh, food. okay. Yeah, I'll do it tonight because we ain't gonna be doing anything tonight. You just, uh, you can just, unless you want me to do it now, I can do it. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stay up here. Yeah, right. He, he said you go past. Uh, you go past Orion. You go past Sneed and Orion, and it's right there on the left. There's a slip that used to be there. Rocks used to go in. The rock barges. Right, hopefully they got lines on their barge. Oh yeah, I know, huh? All right, let me get over here. Right now I can read some chat, I think. I probably missed quite a bit. Let me see. We're gonna go over here and pick up this other barge. It's cloudy as hell, ain't it? It looks pretty bad over here. Okay, how far back I gotta go and chat? Quite a bit. 
okay I see okay I see yeah well I know but every river ends up in the sea eventually even if it just arrives in a lake evaporation means all the water eventually ends up in the sea it's in the ocean dolphins and all a while back I started watching small yacht YouTube videos traveling in a coastal looks like a rough life just watch small boats and ships in the North Sea during storms. You'll get a new appreciation. Yeah, look, that barge is on the dry dock. Straight up out the water. That's a 30. That's a 30,000 barrel barge like I just had. I'm doing some work underneath, I guess. I need a mega yacht. Rob size. 65 mil, mil or so would be good. Oh, I see the twerking pickle. Oh, I see the twerking pickle. No joke, the cork bouncing around out there. 65, oh, 65 meters. It's too big. You need about 40 million. Oh, million. 40 million. It would take you everywhere without being too expensive. Of 40 meters. Sorry, I have this annoying habit of typing a lot. <laughs> okay, meters, gotcha. See, this is all fleet. All these barges right here, all 30,000 barrel barges. We got a two hour stream out of it, even though I started late. That's a brand new boat they're building on the dock right there. Brand new. That's what hards need. We need a brand new boat. That's a that's gonna be a bigger boat. We need a bigger boat. They got the hull and the first deck built. Josh would love these cranes. Blanco's here. Rob will be streaming from his yacht someday. I wish. Okay, let me do my intro. Run away in utter fear or I, Bluesy the Goat Milker, I am here. For I, Bluesy the Goat Milker, am here. Run away in utter fear. I see what you did there. in utter fear. Whee! That's a tall crane boom. That's a long one. All right, up here on the left is they say where they keep their tins now. Oh yeah, I see one right there. That's where we're going. See those three barges? The three green barges in there, that's where we're going. I hope it's not that loaded one. <laughs> That's the 101, man. There's the 106. You might be able to pull both of them out, flip them around, and put it back in.
I think he's going to flip them, pull them both out, uh, Dave. Because we got to get that middle one. Okay, we're taking the 106. Yeah. So I think he's going to bring it out here, flip it around, because we got to bring it header outbound anyway. So we got to get on this end of, on the other end anyway. This is where they keep their empties now, or, or their tens. I didn't know that. Yeah, we got to get that middle one out. It's never easy. It's never easy, you know. Tiny little rowboat. That might be an alligator right there, but it's not. It's a, it's a stick. He's going to tighten it up. Oh, yeah, he's tightening that one up now. That's what, that's what tightens us up to the barge. I heard him say he's going to he's going to pull both of these out. We're going to back both of these barges out, flip around, and he's going to back in. I think that's what he said. then we can make up to the other one and leave with it because then it'll be on the outside I think I don't know sounds like a plan it's a stick it was a stick Let me see who's on today. Who's on? Maka Waka's on. Marley's is on. Mr. Mayor. Dookie's on. What? Down South is on. Big Man Chainsaw says... Boy, bro, how you doing, lad? We are doing good. We moving barges, my man. Bro, big man chainsaw, we are moving barges. Okay, gotta run. See you later. Leave it up on my outside beamer so I'll see you while it's milking. Bristol Street Motors. Boy, Bob, nice day. 
Yo, where we're sailing, lads? We're in Texas, in Houston. He's pulling these two barges out now. We gotta flip them around. We need to take that out, that inside barge right there. It was in the middle, so we gotta take both of these barges out. We pull them both out, flip them around, put them back in the slip, and then leave with that one. That's what we're doing. James has got a plan. He got it figured out, I think. Man, doing some hard work. Yo, we rolling. Just like Limp Biscuit, rolling, rolling, rolling. David Carr, 69. Tank. Mike, I think I saw a follow how much to jump in the drink. Ah, uh, no, nah, it's not going to happen. Not going to happen. That goes against our safety regulations anyway. John, hey John. Ah, close. Ah, you were so close. Damn, you was close. Almost had a winner. Ben, Ben and Jerry. That was, ben, that was Jerry from Ben and Jerry's. You got it. Chainsaw got it. Ben and Jerry's on the boat. I don't know. You think he'd have enough money, he wouldn't have to be on this damn boat. Goddamn Ben and Jerry's hauling lines for the rest of his life on a barge. What the hell? David Carr, you like that quarterback dude that used to play for the uh for the Texans? Is that is that what this is? What you doing on Twitch, bro? Good to see you on Twitch. That's awesome. Or is it David that plays for the Raiders? One of the two. One's a brother. He's got a brother. Something like that. Maybe it's David Carter that plays for the Raiders. I don't know. Is that a species of a great ape? A great ape. Great ape. Well, that... That, uh... That came out of, like, uh, out of nowhere. That took a turn, bro. That took, like, a weird turn. You're a silly man. Eh. I try, you know. But I got something for that. That's what we do with that. You came in the same time. If you're with them, you can be next. I mean, it's all, it's all up to you. We're all cool up in here. Have a good time hanging out. But if uh, 
you come in the same time. You can be number three if you like. If you want to hang out and have a good time, well, you're more than welcome. It's up to you, bro. It's up to you, mate. It's up to you, matey. You make the call. Alright, so he's got it flipped around, and now we're gonna back into that hole over there. Bill Cop said, Bye bye. Bye bye. I mean, yeah, Bill Cop, I can only I can only be so nice. I mean I saw the writing on the wall after the first few comments. Can you pull or only push? We pull like dredge pipe dredges we pull behind us. These barges pretty much just push. Okay, so he's lining up to back it up in there. As long as we keep the wheels of the boat and the boat in the deep water, it don't matter where these things go. It can lay up over there and it'll be okay. As long as we keep ourselves in the water, we're good. We're golden. It in there. See? He's backing it in. I live in Texas City. You look like maybe Dallas said, Oh, you're close. We're up in Channel View. In fact, I was in Galveston when uh, yesterday we passed through Galveston. Yesterday we passed by Galveston and Texas City at the dike. You want me to go get it? No, Donnie's got it. Okay. I was just about to ask you about that, but yeah, Donnie's down there, okay. So how you say your name? Di Dice Moon? Dice Moon? Thank you for following. Yeah, we work pretty much up here in the Houston Harbor. Uh, lately, we've been hanging out in Bayport with that dredge down there in Bayport. And, uh, but now they got us pushing a couple of barges up here. So he'll just lay it right alongside that pipe there. Back it on in this hole. Day is moon. Okay. Day is moon. That's how we'll say it then. Day is moon. We'll just call you Moon. <laughs> I'm not good with Twitch names. There's some cool Twitch, Twitch names out there. I'm just ain't good at them. That's the 103. That one's loaded. That's a pretty deep loaded barge, 10 foot. Got a 10 foot draft on it. Moon works. He's got the floodlights on the side here, so it's lighting it up pretty good. Evidently, they got water back there because it's a 10-foot draft, so there's enough water for us to get back there.
front ends are just falling in. Falling in right, 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 out, right on in here. This barge here is nine and a half foot, so yeah, I know. you're kicking up a little mud, but you're kicking up a little mud, but it ain't bad. Under the boat, but that's expected. Tie up on a high low like that.
Somebody told me they used to bring rock barges back here. Yeah, I see the rock back behind us. I think they got some water. Dang, them, them trees are pretty. Let's get a picture of just, get a screenshot of just that. That's a heck of a screenshot right there. background sky that's kind of nice that's kind of nice okay so it look like we, we got it tied up then he's going to break off and we're going to get on that one and push it on out of here and then it's good we're good to go get on out of here and go to ITC at ITC Deer Park Yeah, it's a little muddy. I mean, it's just a, it's just like our wheels are just gonna churn that up. It's just how it is. But it's not that bad. We're moving around pretty free. This is that's how close we are to I-10, Interstate 10s right there. Y'all hear the cars? Y'all can hear them. That's the cars on Interstate 10. Now he put on some lights. He, he's backing off the uh, face wires right now. be a good screenshot too. I always look for good picture opportunities. Come down into the water a little bit right there's a good one. Yep. Those trees remind me of the days back in now. Uh, remember it was back in now. Um, them days were back in now. Uh, oh god dang, I think I think a spider was on me. What the hell? Yeah, just push this sucker out on your inboard engine. Yeah. I think you'll be alright. That one over there. the clip of that screenshot to Discord. There you go, Bill Cop. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to look at it. Once we leave out of here, I'm probably going to get off the stream and go give me something to eat. Take me a break.
We don't have no extra ones, huh? Kind of showing around a little bit. Let's see how close we are to the bank over here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're kind of close to the bank, I would say. It's deep here, though. If we can get this close to the bank, it's deep. It's pretty dang deep. Coming in with the raid. Dookie coming in with the raid. Thank you, Dookie. The view makes it all worth it. Okay, so we're leaving out now. He's only got the one engine in gear, the one that's closest to this barge over here. You don't want to put this one in gear over here because it's probably pretty damn shallow. At least until we get out there, then he can put them both in gear. Slim and stony. Rails Bells. Hello, Rails Bells. Don't forget the log books. Yeah, the log books. Uh, I've caught up as much as I'm going to catch up until I get back uh, on watch tonight. Yeah. The... Uh, Computer logs all done. Is that a 200 or a 300? This one's a 200. I just moved two 300 ones to Slim. I moved two 300 ones today. I had to go get one of them, bring it to another dock, then go pick up the second one and bring it to the same dock. And then they gave us this barge to do. But this is a 200 footer. I never got a notification. Yeah, I went on about, well, you can see there, two and a half hours ago, so three o'clock, maybe, three-ish. And, uh, yeah, this company here, E-Square is the name of them. They called us to go move two big barges, empty ones, I, and I did that, and then we had to come get this one and bring it to ITC Deer Park. So that'll be another few hours on on a, another few hours on charter with this company. Oh, now it's dark. Ooh, it's so dark.
it could be like it could be anything from like uh, benzene uh, diesel fuel oil uh, there's some other stuff there's a list of stuff that we've, we've pushed before this one's empty and I think on the paperwork it'll probably say exactly what was in it on the barge they have a box in the barge that has all of their loads and previous loads and stuff last time I held my hand came back covered in peanut butter that is a pretty sky at night with all those lights it's, it's cloudy though that's what makes it look like that it's so cloudy barge full of salsa we headed straight for the border with a barge full of salsa see that's a sandbar right there you got to watch out for usually you don't see it when it's a high tide you don't see that you just got to know where to pass. You got to pass close to these barges. As long as you pass close to these barges when you come around here, you won't hit that sandbar. Yep, that's usually underwater, but with the north wind blowing the head and all the water's out, it's sticking up. You can see it. Yep, you just gotta pass all this stuff close and you're in good water. Hey, does anyone know if uh, if uh, Tampa Bay won today? Did Tampa Bay beat Indianapolis? Break out the nachos. That's nacho cheese. They did okay. I saw it was close. Tied at 31 with two minutes left. I figured they'd pull it out. I mean, hell, that's Tom Brady. Why wouldn't he? Because that's what Tom Brady does. Oh, you missed it, Slim, earlier. I think we had a couple of trolls that came in. I had to take care of business. That's all right. I had fun doing it. I enjoyed it. windy around that corner. God dang, it's cold out here. So the sandbar is kind of weird. It does this. It comes out this way. It comes out here, but then it turns back this way, and then it goes this, like this again. It's like a S. So you got to go around it. You got to come and, and head towards these barges. And then you got to turn back this way and then turn back again. Hoarding Junk is now following. Thank you, Hoarding Junk, for the follow. Welcome to the nighttime towboat stream where we're pushing barges at night. Oh, y'all can see all the cars on I-10 now. Y'all see the cars passing on the interstate? Bunch of 18-wheelers. They cruising. This is all fleets right there. All that, all those barges there, 
all the barges over here that's all the fleets around here that where they fleet the barges and, and hold them until they need them I might be on that road next week when I get off well I will be on it when I go home I have to get on that road to go home in two days okay so yeah look so we had to go around it there then you turn and you can see where the sandbar is the, the shiny looking smooth water that's all sandbar and that's some hard sand let me t that's not soft that's hard it ain't like what we was in back there barges close and you won't get next to that sandbar Kirby has an office over here I'm gonna I'm stay on until we pass it because it's right around the corner but uh it's built on the end of a uh, almost the end of a little island really I mean bridges connect to it to get to it you can get to it by bridges but uh they built it right on the point where the, where the land ends and they nicknamed it the rock I guess after uh, what's the name of that prison that was the rock uh, uh, Alcatraz or whatever they nicknamed that building the rock so whenever you hear somebody on the radio said when, it, when you hear them say bring the barge to the rock that means bring it to the fleet over here I'm going to show you what that building looks like it's a nice building Moby Dick. Seven cents short. Good evening. I'm doing good. About to get off watch. I am off watch, actually. I'm just hanging out until we get this barge out of here. Moby Dick. There she blows. What's going on, Hank705? How you doing? Welcome into the stream. This is all Blessy's barges, Blessy Marine. And then Kirby's fleet is all of these barges you're gonna see over here is Kirby. And Kirby owns the rock. Bring the barge and prepare to rock. Petro, Petrocori. I saw you picking up that barge. Do you have charts for the water showing the depth? Uh, yes. Yes, except in here it doesn't. Back up in here, in these little canals and bayous, it don't. Some spots it does, but in a, like where we're at here, it doesn't. But it's, it's plenty deep enough here for boats to pass, as long as you don't get right there. As long as you don't get close to that, you're good. But when it's a high tide, you don't see that that's underwater so you better know where it is they used to have some pvc pipe going along it with some reflector tape but i don't see the pvc pipes anymore they're gone so yep you just stay close to this right here you you just pass all this close and you won't get next to that That's the rock over there. You can kind of see it, the building. Uh, I'm gonna get on that side of the boat when we get close to it. It might be hard to see in the dark. But that's all Kirby's. That's some more Kirby barges. Kirby must have a thousand barges up here in Houston. All together in all the fleets. I bet you they got a thousand barges up here at any given time. So this is considered Old River that we just got out of. All of this going all the way back to our office and around is Old River. This is Western Cut. And where that boat is with the blue lights, when we turn into it, that's the San Jacinto River. 
So we'll get into the San Jacinto River and we'll head outbound this way and go to Lynchburg Ferries back into the Houston Ship Channel. All this over here is a big island that's, and you can circle all the way around it. So we just went around the island, that's all we did. help here in just a minute. I gotta show them where number eight dock is. I got it on my phone. That's the rock. And some more goddamn barges. They're everywhere. That building right there, it's it's huge. It's like two stories. It probably has a hundred offices in it. But all this right here, all this is like cement and, and hard rock, uh, do, uh, it's not a dock, but it's just like, uh, it, so it don't erode away, they just got a bunch of boulders and stuff uh, stacked right there. And there's a guy sitting up there in that tower and does radio dispatch. He sits up there and watches everything. He might be watching me right now. I'm going to wave to him. Hey, how you doing? And this way here, up this way, goes to this I-10 bridge, underneath the I-10 bridge, and that goes out to the ship channel. That's Alcatraz. Channel view Alcatraz. San Jacinto Monument, I always show y'all, is right there. That's the San Jacinto Monument and where the battleship is. So we're just going out the San Jacinto River. And all of that's barges too. All this whole area right here is nothing but barges. Barges freaking everywhere. Oh, let's see. Alrighty. So let me go see here. I'm going to get off this thing. And I'm going to go see who I'm going to uh, raid to. Jennifer McMahon's on. I saw. Karen and Shada's on. Who is that? That's uh. Red One Love has followed. Thank you for the follow. Marley's is on. You want to go see Marley's making arts and crafts? We can go see Marley's. Thanks for the stream. Ray Jennifer. Yeah, I haven't raided her in a while. And she was she was real good to the channel before. So let's go see Jennifer. She's a storm chaser. Let's go see if she's a. Uh, let's go see what she's a uh, chaser. She is. What is Jennifer doing? Storm chasing with Jen. Lake effect snow. Oh, some lake effect snow. 
Let me make sure I get this spelling right. Can somebody put her spelling up in the uh, chat? Maybe I have it though. Ray. Jennifer. Can y'all put her uh, last name up? I think it's MC. There you go. MCM. A H A N A H A N, and I, it feels like snow out here. God dang it! Okay, I Ray Jennifer McMahon. All right, thank y'all for hanging out for these little almost three hours, and uh, I will see y'all tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll be somewhere. I think, and uh, I will get with y'all later. All right, let's see. Raid going through nine, eleven viewers, fifteen, twenty. 30, oh, 32, 36, ready, 37, ready to go. All right, I'll see y'all later.